A normal guy named Eric, in his early thirties, led a typical life in the bustling city of Crestwood. He had a steady job at a local bank and had a passion for jogging in the nearby park. Little did he know that his ordinary routine was about to take an extraordinary turn. Eric stood before the bathroom mirror, ready for his usual jog as he glanced at his reflection, something peculiar caught his attention. His eyes, typically a deep shade of brown, appeared different today. In that moment, Eric's gaze met his own, but what stared back at him resembled the slitted, golden eyes of a cat. His heart skipped a beat, the intensity of the experience leaving him momentarily breathless. A mixture of curiosity and trepidation gripped his chest, intertwining in a dance of emotions. He blinked, hoping to dispel the illusion, but the cat-like quality of his eyes remained for just a heartbeat longer. Then, as quickly as it had emerged, the peculiar metamorphosis vanished, returning his eyes to their familiar, reassuring brown hue. With a pensive pause, Eric mulled over the perplexing reflection, weighing the possibilities before concluding that it was nothing more than a fleeting trick of the light. Resolute in his rationalization, he shrugged off the uncanny occurrence and readied himself for his customary morning jog. Gathering his determination, he stepped out the door, in the crisp autumn morning air, with the sun casting a warm golden glow over the trees. As he followed the familiar path, his mind wandered, contemplating the day ahead. Lost in his thoughts, he failed to notice a small dip in the ground, hidden by the fallen leaves, before he knew it, his foot caught on an unseen obstacle, and Eric tumbled down the hill with a mix of surprise and pain. He landed hard, his right forearm taking the brunt of the impact. The searing pain shot through his arm, leaving him momentarily breathless. Wincing, Eric sat up and assessed the damage. To his shock, he discovered a deep gash on his arm, far worse than any previous scrape he had experienced. With a mixture of curiosity and concern, he examined the injury more closely. As he peeled back the layers of torn skin, his eyes widened in disbelief. Underneath the torn flesh, he glimpsed something unexpected, a scaly, reptilian texture. His heart raced, and a chill ran down his spine. Thoughts swirled in his mind, and he wondered if he had stumbled upon some elaborate prank or if his eyes were playing tricks on him. Eric rushed home, his mind racing with questions. He stood in front of the bathroom mirror, carefully cleaning the wound with water and removing the last remnants of dirt and twigs. Gently, he probed the area with his fingers, confirming the presence of the strange, reptilian skin beneath his own. Baffled and overwhelmed by the sight, doubt began to creep into Eric's mind. Maybe it was a trick of the light, a mere illusion that made his skin appear reptilian. Despite his initial shock, he reasoned that there had to be a logical explanation for what he had witnessed. With careful precision, Eric wrapped his injured arm in elastic bandages, ensuring it received the necessary support. Despite the absence of visible bleeding, he reluctantly decided to reach out to the local urgent care center, prompted by the genuine hiking accident that had caused the injury. However, a familiar sense of unease lingered within him as he considered disclosing the additional peculiar reptilian appearance that had accompanied the incident. Stricken with anxiety about medical examinations, he chose to downplay the extent of his arm's condition, crafting a narrative that focused on the hiking mishap while discreetly omitting the unsettling details that set him apart. With his heart pounding and anxiety gripping him, he entered the sterile, white-walled facility, hoping that the medical professionals would shed some light on his peculiar discovery. The doctors and nurses, as they examined Eric's arm, exchanged puzzled glances. They had never seen anything like it before. The damaged area had indeed revealed a layer of reptilian skin beneath his normal flesh, leaving the medical team astonished and at a loss for words. Whispers of amazement filled the room as they carefully probed the area, taking samples for further analysis. The medical staff tried to reassure Eric, their expressions a mix of confusion and curiosity. They assured him that they would conduct thorough tests and consult with specialists to understand the nature of his condition. However, as the medical team worked diligently to unravel the mystery, their efforts were abruptly interrupted by the sudden entrance of a group of men dressed in black suits. 
Panic and chaos ensued as the armed individuals swiftly silenced everyone in the room. Eric's heart pounded in his chest as he witnessed the horrifying scene unfolding before his eyes. Fear coursing through his veins, an unexpected surge of strength, Eric managed to overpower the mysterious men in black at the urgent care facility. In a blur of swift movements, he outmatched them, exploiting his newfound reptilian abilities to his advantage. Startled and outpaced, the men in black found themselves unable to keep up with Eric's speed and sheer power. Eric managed to escape their clutches, narrowly evading capture. He fled, seeking refuge in the darkest corners of the city, desperate to stay hidden from the mysterious men in black. As Eric found temporary solace in his hiding spot, he couldn't help but notice that his arm, the one with the reptilian skin, had ceased to heal. It was as if the lizard-like texture was his real skin and the human skin was a mere suit covering it. His attention was suddenly captured by the blaring sound of an amber alert on his phone. Startled, he quickly glanced at the urgent message that flashed on the screen. The alert revealed that he was being sought by law enforcement in connection with a devastating incident at the urgent care facility, where lives had been tragically lost. Shock reverberated through Eric's entire being as he struggled to comprehend the weight of the accusations against him. How could he be implicated in such a horrific event? His mind raced with questions, but he knew that his immediate priority was to isolate himself from everyone. Adopting a false name became an essential measure to ensure his anonymity and safety amidst mounting suspicions. Has he done this before? Concerned about his privacy and the potential for his phone to be used as a tracking device, Eric made the decision to dispose of it entirely, rendering it useless and eliminating any risk of unwanted surveillance. Eric had always been a solitary figure, preferring the quiet company of his own thoughts over the bustling chatter of social interactions. Even before the tumultuous events that had thrust him into the spotlight, he had often found solace in solitude. Remaining concealed until nightfall, Eric cautiously set out on foot, venturing away from the city's bustling streets. Each time a police officer passed by in their patrol car, his heart would skip a beat, a flicker of anxiety coursing through him, urging him to maintain his low profile. Eric encountered a pressing need to use the restroom and stumbled upon a 24-hour gas station with exterior bathroom facilities. With daylight beginning to break, he hoped to find a moment of respite and safety. However, as he attempted to open the door, he realized it was locked, necessitating interaction with the attendant inside. Stepping into the gas station, he couldn't help but notice a surveillance camera nestled in the corner, a testament to past incidents of robbery. Politely, he inquired about accessing the restroom, only to be informed that a purchase was required. With no cash on hand, he reluctantly bought a drink and some chips with his bank card. The attendant handed him a key adorned with a worn hubcap. Then he went back to the dimly lit bathroom with the key that appeared to have been neglected for weeks. It became evident that the gas station employee likely locked the facilities at night to deter people from using them as makeshift sleeping quarters, opting to avoid the inconvenience of venturing outside to unlock the door. As Eric stood before the bathroom mirror, his gaze fixated on the peculiar sight unfolding before his eyes. The skin around the injured area of his arm seemed to slough off effortlessly, revealing a lizard-like texture underneath. Astonishment mingled with fear as he gingerly touched his hand, only to witness the skin peel away like a discarded glove, exposing a reptilian hand adorned with sharp, clawed fingernails. Yet, a heightened sense of touch coursed through him, as if every sensation was amplified a hundredfold. His curiosity piqued, Eric cautiously extended his lizard-like hand to his own face, realizing with a startling revelation that he had been wearing a mask all along. Startled by the sudden intrusion, Eric swiftly abandoned the mirror, seeking refuge in one of the bathroom stalls. Hastily, he peeled off the mask, his eyes scanning the back of the stall door for any glimpse of his transformed visage.